Needless to say, we're disappointed. Well, I just got done watching the Super Bowl, and did they play Sweet Victory? And no, they showed a bit of SpongeBob and Mercedes-Benz Stadium's Twitter said they played the clip, but when there was nobody there. Let's get into it. So, <clears throat> I'm sure you guys know, I've been covering this for a while now that I really wanted Sweet Victory to be played at the Super Bowl. I thought it was a really great way. There were some petitions going around, particularly this one from Israel Kalunga, basically asking for Sweet Victory to be played at the Super Bowl's halftime show in order to honor late SpongeBob creator Steven Hillenburg. And what did we get during the halftime show? Well, in the middle of it, so Woodward came up and said, hey guys, here's the part that needs no introduction. And then they go into the Sweet Victory trumpets, you know, that bum, 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 bum. But it was really just introducing a comet that came down on Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And now comes Travis Scott. Yeah. <clears throat> now, while I was filming this video, I got a notification from one of my Twitter followers that Mercedes-Benz Stadium actually tweeted out them playing the Sweet Victory clip from the episode Band Geeks in the stadium, but it looks like there was nobody there, so not exactly consolation. I think what they were doing in this case was they were like, oh, oh no, Maroon 5 and... Travis Scott and Big Boy aren't going to play Sweet Victory after all. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, 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 well, I know. Let's da and let damage control the backlash that we're probably going to get by playing this clip in the stadium and film it. So, yay. Uh, I mean, me personally, what I was hoping for, I said in my previous videos that what I was hoping for is maybe after Maroon 5 gets done singing their usual assortment of songs, they would go up, you would see Adam Levine go up and be like, hey guys, thanks for coming out, and we got one more song that we know that you guys have really been requesting, and they start playing Sweet Victory. It also would have been nice if David Glenn and Isley was there, though my sister tells me that she heard that he wasn't going to be at the Super Bowl. So me and my sister have just spent the last few hours feeling really crushed. It was such a hard thing for me to process that it literally took me three takes to do this video only because so much is going through my mind and I've just been feeling so incredibly disappointed. If it was the kind of a case where Maroon 5 was like, okay, let's do it, let's do Sweet Victory, but oh, it's really late in the game and we can't really do rehearsals, so maybe just to compromise, we'll do a thing where we'll introduce Travis Scott by inserting the SpongeBob footage from um, Band Geeks, which, you know, if it was that kind of case, he's... It's definitely disappointing, but I could give them a little more leeway. I hope, you know, what happened, and a lot of people are, you know, obviously he expressing disappointment on social media. A lot of people are saying this is an insult to Steven Hillenburg and saying things like that. And uh, I hope this wasn't a thing where, and it definitely seems this way, where it was just basically a ratings bait. You know, I said in my previous video, I think the reason why they didn't want to straight, like, I thought that they were going to play Sweet Victory, and my thought process was, if that's the case, they didn't want to announce it because the NFL wanted to keep it a secret so they could draw in new viewers. You know, they were like, you know, they're going to be so excited, so they'll have to tune in to find out, and then they'll play Sweet Victory. What I hope wasn't the case was, I hope they weren't thinking that, hmm, people really, really want this Sweet Victory song. They really want SpongeBob. So we're not going to announce it. We're going to uh, bait them into watching the Super Bowl, you know, because they'll be excited and thinking, oh boy, I hope Sweet Victory is in there. And then it turns out you know, they're not singing the song. I mean, I really hope that's not the case. In that kind of a context, if that was the case, then I could understand people saying, you know, oh, this was so disrespectful to Steven Hillenburg. And even if they were thinking that, oh, it's kind of late, I don't know, let's just throw in a SpongeBob snippet 
you know, in the middle of the halftime show to introduce Travis Scott, basically, because even in that kind of a case, I still get that kind of manipulated feeling that, oh, you basically just use SpongeBob to sort of do some ratings bait. I honestly hope that's not the kind of a case because then that's just really, really, that then that's just really manipulative. So I honestly hope that's not the case. Optimistically, if let's say there were no objections, no issues, what I would have liked to have seen is maybe they could have done a thing where they still kept that comet introduction and Squidward would still be like, hey everybody, here's the part that needs no introduction, and then they go into the bomb, ba ba bomb, ba ba bomb, and then the the comet comes down, hits Mercedes Benz Stadium, and then out comes Rune 5, Travis Scott, Big Boy, and if they could have got him, David Glenn Isley, and they start singing Sweet Victory, you know. Idealistically, that's what I would have wanted. I'm sure a lot of you guys wanted it also because when I was watching, I actually watched the halftime show live on the CBS Sports app on my iPad. You know, when Squidward came up, I was like, oh my God, this looks like we're finally going to get Sweet Victory. And then when the Comet like came to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, I was hoping and hoping, oh, is that a sign that we're going to get something? Is that David, <laughs> did they end up getting David Glenn Isley after all? And then no, it's just Travis Scott. So yeah. So the bottom line is I really hope that behind the scenes they were looking to do the Sweet Victory performance, but it's just they didn't ran out of time and and Adam Levine didn't have time to do rehearsals, so they had to do the next best thing. I don't want to sound ungrateful because technically speaking, SpongeBob was at the halftime show, but if it was truly just a case of ratings bait like like um the suit like the NFL and Maroon 5 and the rest of them were like hey let's just use Spongebob as a way to draw in new viewers you know get our ratings numbers up there and oh if people hate it too bad and we got their ratings then I find that incredibly manipulative either way I just feel incredibly disappointed you know going back to the Mercedes-Benz stadium clip that one of my followers sent me I would have liked to have seen a thing where maybe what they could have done was Maroon 5 cuts out one of their songs so they could make room for Sweet Victory and they just play that Sweet Victory clip in the Mercedes-Benz stadium and I know it's definitely not as good as if somebody went out and actually sang the song at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But it would have been a there would have been a thing where when the song is being sung, you would have had the Rune 5 fans and the Rams and the Patriots fans, you know, in the stadium cheering and, you know, waving their hands to the song and really enjoying the song. You know, just like in Band Geeks when they were playing Sweet Victory, remember there was that live action footage of all the football players or the football fans getting all excited, you know, and stuff. They were hugging and waving their arms and getting all, all hyped. Like, you would have had, like, basically the real-life version of that because you would have all the Maroon 5 fans and the Rams and Patriots fans, you know, cheering along to that song. So, it is, it is in a sense, if they went down that route, it would have been lame in the sense that if you're at home watching the game just like I was, it would just be a case of, why are they just showing the clip? I'd rather just go look it up on YouTube. But in the stadium, it would have been something special, especially for SpongeBob fans and for people like me who are really looking forward to hearing this kick-ass song being put in the Super Bowl. And now, all we got was that, that there is a SpongeBob, a very a short SpongeBob segment in the actual halftime show. And Mercedes-Benz Stadium's Twitter, I think they're damage controlling, just uploads a clip of them playing the Sweet Victory scene in the stadium itself. So, eh, I mean, it's just, no matter how I look at it, I just feel really disappointed in the end. I mean, realistically, I kind of wish they would at least just play the clip in the stadium to get fans excited. But, nope, we got what we got. We just, so, so, unfortunately... That's all I got to say. Leave all your thoughts down below. Did you like the Super Bowl halftime show? Are you disappointed? Leave all those thoughts down below. Also, let me know if you have any ideas for any future videos. This has been Blood Moon Bobby, and thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, be sure to like this Blood Moon Bobby video if you enjoyed it. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Be sure to ring the notification bell to be notified about my latest upload. 
follow me on my social media pages at Blood Moon Bobby to find out about what I'll be covering next and for more of my opinions. Thanks for watching.